Welcome back to Modern Homestead, Alaska. We got an RV. <laughs> Welcome to our vlog. We are the Milnes family. We started building a modern homestead outside of Wasilla, Alaska in the summer of 2021. That's my husband, Aaron. I am Jessica, a stay-at-home wife and mom. Our second son, Caleb, lives here with us along with our daughter, Cody Ann, and the youngest of our family, Wyatt. We brought our two dogs, Tipper and Daisy, and got a new addition, the Alaska dog, Roberto. Aaron and I will fill you in on why we got an Argo and why we feel like it is the best choice for us here in South Central Alaska. You're way faster. We thought we would just take you along as we hit some of the trails. <laughs> Ended up going fishing and hadn't intended on it, but just taking the Argo out for a spin. As we go along some of the trails, I thought I would give you some facts and features of what an Argo is and just let you enjoy the beauty of Alaska with us today. The best way to describe an Argo is it is a amphibious all-terrain vehicle. And what that means is the Argo not only travels across land, but it also turns into a boat. So in the muck and the mud and the swamps and all that Alaska's terrain has to offer, an Argo is a great ATV to get us back into places that snow machines, four-wheelers, and even boats can't get you.
One of the reasons we chose the Argo is its capability to carry multiple people. Right now, the way the seats are set up, we can carry four in the Argo. However, the Argo will carry six people. It just does so at a much slower pace, going a max of 20 miles an hour. On trails like this over the weekend, we only topped out maybe seven, eight miles an hour. Although the Argo is slow, it can get to us where we want to go. Argo we chose is an 8x8 eight eight is what it's called. So there is actually eight tires on our Argo. The feature that we added though was the tracks. It balances out the vehicle and helps us get through the snow and other areas by turning it into, I guess a miniature tank is the best way of describing what it looks like. After exploring this path the first time for a few minutes, Caleb got a phone call from a friend asking if he wanted to go set up and do some fishing. So we are now back on the trail, this time with a plan. Okay, the hardest thing is getting used to this on my head. But even Kayla on a snow machine is wearing one. What? what happened? You lost the sled. How? The pin fell out? Is that our sled? That trail, the uh, short call did our trail. Okay. That's, and then uh, just follow that? So you guys follow that one? Yeah, you're gonna eventually turn right onto a trail. It's gonna be kind of hard to see, but you'll see like the little right side and the trail is a little bit on the right side. The sign's on the right side, okay. Yeah. yeah. Follow it. Yeah. While Aaron is having this conversation with Zane over here, I did want to note that even though we're talking about the Argo and kind of showing you where we can go in it, it's important that to us, the first time on these trails, that we go with someone that's been on them and knows exactly where we're going. Argos are notoriously slow, except we're packing ice in a sled to cool it Wait down. So here we are in our slow machine waiting on the sleds. All right, get back in. are frequented by dogs and these dudes have the coolest big big tire bikes <laughs> that's cool and a lot of work how are you guys doing good how are you, how are you? <laughs> the 
the trails that we are traveling on are extremely narrow. However, the Argo isn't much wider than a four-wheeler, and so it fits perfectly well on these trails. But when I'm riding in it, I honestly feel like I'm riding in a small vehicle. The seats are comfortable. You feel a little more stable. And with the PTSD and this being my first time back out after the accident, I am doing so much better than I had thought or hoped I would do. Caleb! This thing gonna go across there? Yeah. this hill and someone is in the ditch we're not on the trail can that little shackle work just clip it huh yeah it's under your seat <gasps> yeah but it was hard it hit the snow machine i was trying to get some out here so i just try to step off but we'll show you some of the features of the Argo that we didn't know we were going to use today. Right, Caleb? Is it come standard with this? Yeah, no. No? This this model did. Okay. Other models don't. Oh, it does now you got to put it back in gear. And then hold it tight till it's tight. Don't dig rut. Clip it forward. Here, hold up, hold Stop. up, hold up. Come forward. What happened? The ski. Huh? He's got to pick Come up forward. on the ski. We did not plan on meeting e each other, and then this is his dad, and they're out here on the same trail with Caleb stuck. Got her. Alaska is so funny. We're just on these trails to meet people. You meet meet people Tell for the first when. time, run into people you know. So friendly. A couple of reasons why Aaron and I are just kind of blown around on the Argo is number one, we have the first 2023 Argo in the state of Alaska and it has a new transmission and they have asked us to kind of test it out and put about 20 hours on the Argo and see how that new transmission is doing.
The rack that you see in the front of the Argo was added on by Aaron. He wanted to be able to strap some stuff to the Argo. It can, you can have like windshields and tops and all sorts of things. We decided not to do any of that to begin. And then after having driven it, we realized it would just get beat up in the trails by the tree limbs and everything else. So we're not adding those additions to it. The way that you steer the Argo is it's a skid steer, which means all of the tires and the tracks are stationary. When you go to turn, what actually happens is one set of tires rolls faster than the other, which is why you can basically spin a circle. It works just like a Bobcat or a Skidster. If you're new around here, I'll just pause and invite you to hit that subscribe button. When you ring the bell, you get notifications. Thumbs up and comments help our channel to grow. This is an atypical video for us, but we just kind of wanted to share with you a little bit of our weekend and some of the beauty that Alaska has to offer. And one of our great adventures coming up is being able to just hit these trails and go places just straight from our own backyard. So welcome to Modern Homestead Alaska. We hope you stick around for a little while. But we made it to the lake. The water Caleb's the looking for go the fishing with, spot. With but look at these ruts. Is that that creepy? That like, that's creepy for me. All right, Caleb's drilling holes. All those freshwater shrimp. It's good food for the fish. I know. We're not. We're not sure how well built I am for Alaska. Aaron let me drive it once in the wide open on the lake, and I found the overflow super deep mucky muddy water called overflow overflow i already said that and now i have us really really stuck so that's tons of fun right most fun you've ever had yeah it makes me happy Things never, ever go as planned. Twice, how? <laughs> we got the no, Argo exactly. unstuck by just, um, it has the winch. Anyway, some other guys stopped to help. Uh, now we have a coolant leak. Yeah, I'll look back there. So this thing no. fell down. Right. Caleb already, did he fix it? We got it back on. These are legit dog collars. No, they're neck lines. put them on the collar of the dog and hook it up to the gangway. And then the dog can only move two inches. <laughs> so brutal. Mm -hmm. You need to get a, a, a hitch right here that you can hook on to, too. I think there was a hitch right here. Not when I had it. It's never had one, but you need to get something there. Spot for it, right there. Yep. You got coolant, you said? Yeah. Come on, Kevin, you can get it. What do you need? Are you 
Ready? Ready? All right, it's held up. The next day, the whole family decided to go back out and try and do some fishing. The video is really short from here on out. I just went ahead and put up the camera and enjoyed some family time with Aaron, all of the kids, several friends, and we just had the best day. It was this bright and clear all day long. We did make it home before dark. And then the last point is going to make is the night before. Of course, things don't always go according to plan. And that is part of the adventure, but also the lessons learned in getting yourself in and out of those situations that our children are learning that will actually make them better at survival and the future and whatever Alaska adventures they have coming. What's happening today, Caleb? We're gonna actually catch some today. We're gonna actually catch some fish today. Zane is cleaning up the holes. Wyatt uses the shovel to scrape around. Chris sets up tip ups. Chris's dad drills the holes. Aaron cuts down the trees. Cody and I watch. He's jigging. Is the bait gone? No. 
Thank you, those of you that stuck around to the end. We look forward to sharing these adventures with you in the upcoming videos. We thought we would just pop on and show you a little bit of what we did and what we had going on this past weekend at Modern Homestead, Alaska. We will catch you in the next video. Everyone, be blessed. Until then, see you soon.